Gibbs Brand Lubricants brings you In The Bill. And we're in Hamilton checking out the metal mastery at Mike's Auto Body. Yeah, g'day, I'm uh, Mike Dunn from Mike's Auto Body Limited. Mike's Auto Body is a um, restoration shop as opposed to a collision repair shop. I specialise in panel fabrication. So yeah, we're on the, the hardcore end of uh, restoration. If you have a part that you can't find and have a pretty good pattern, I can pretty much make anything. Every job I do is a one-off. Makes things quite challenging, but at the same time, I get that sort of variety in my work and uh, it's not so mundane. A quick scout around the workshop reveals the range of projects Mike lends his talents to. A recently completed job was the assembly of this 47 Chevy delivery, a car you'll see a lot more of later in the series. Mike was recently joined by Andrew Clatworthy, who hails from Australia's street neat panels, Rod and Custom. And between these two, there's not much they won't tackle. This is a 1964 XM Falcon Coupe. This car, when it came to me, it had been acid dipped and um, not really very well protected. Um, it had been in, a, in another panel shop. They'd basically cut the whole right-hand side off the car and um, I was just presented with this big pile of parts. So it's been an absolutely major sort of a, a jigsaw puzzle to piece it all back together. Both rear quarter panels have had um, patch panels put into it. It's had four floor pans. It's had major reconstruction in the pillars. Um, I've had to make new wheel tubs for it. It's had uh, two new door skins um, and quite a lot of other fiddly little stuff that's all around the place. Bit of the odd chassis rail, that sort of thing. When I was confronted with this car, with the surface rust, it sort of um, it really got me thinking: How am I going to deal with this with this rust? You know, because the chemical stripping will take all the paint out of the seams, and the surface rust was actually right into the seams. When I began looking into how to remedy this problem, and I looked at the products that were out there, I wasn't really too happy. You've, you've basically got two distinct groups here: you've got um, your phosphoric acid-based products, which um, have to be washed off with water. It doesn't last that well, it's, um, it's, it's an acid, and quite often the paint has problems sticking to that. The, the other group is the rust converters, which requires rust to be left on there, which doesn't make sense to me. It also really pretty much just treats the surface, it doesn't really get into the, into the steel, and it certainly doesn't penetrate the seams that well. Searching the internet, and I'd seen this product, Gibbs brand lubricant, people were sort of raving about how good the stuff was. Then I read an article in the, in the Rodders Journal about Metallica guitarist Kirk Hammett um, using it on a 36 three window coupe and he was driving this car around for like 12 months or so just in, in bare metal with Gibbs brand lubricant on it. I thought well you know this must be really good stuff so I made some inquiries and uh, basically to with the, um, the problems with shipping the stuff I've ended up being the New Zealand and Australia distributor for the product. That's the same Gibbs brand lubricant that brings you in the build during this series. And it's handy stuff. As well as preventing rust and its waterproofing qualities, it also lubricates metal, plastic, rubber and wood. We're pretty sure we caught Andrew using it as a deodorant as well. This is a, a 1927 Model T Roadster. I'm building this up as a traditional track roadster, is what would have been raced on the dirt tracks in the early 50s. It'll be running a 270 GMC with a 38 Packard uh, three-speed transmission. Having sort of visited the, uh, the dust up a bit earlier this year, I'm sort of thinking, well, hey, I might be centre steer as well, but uh, we'll have to wait and see on that. Got a lot of work to do. <laughs> this is a panel I've made more recently. It's a, it's a door skin, completely hand-fabricated. Hand you wouldn't believe how much I had to wheel that panel. It looks like a flat panel, but um, I can assure you there's a, there's a lot of shape in that panel. And also, you'll notice that um, the panel actually curves around this way. This is all one piece, there's no welding so far. I put my heart and soul in, into all my work. And um, it's, it's really, you know, the, the, the car becomes a part of my, my life. You know, quite often these, these cars will take months. And um, it's a fair chunk out of my life just to put into somebody's project. And, um, you know, I feel, always feel quite connected to that car after it's gone out of here.